Good morning. We are having ourselves an early morning today. Um, and I woke up on time today. Good morning. Um, so we're on our way to confession and mass. Um, confession first, because mass starts at 9 and it's like 7 something. Um, so it's going to be great. There are people already up and about doing the thing. They're all that way, but they're all doing the thing. There's Kelly and Diana and Victoria, who you met the first day and today. Oh, we had to go the other way. We tried. So here's some of the booths that uh, I didn't get a chance to show you yesterday. Um, I it was pretty cool. Nice. Um, this is like the way for different religious orders. And there was more, but we already passed them. Um, and yeah, everyone's heading on their way to confession or getting a small early start at breakfast. And yeah. I think what um, struck me the most was how I approached Jesus tonight because usually I'm just ready to pour myself out to him to ask him to take everything I have but today I don't know what it is that I have I know that my heart is like weighing and empty but I approached him by um, laying all my situation out all my life out and we worked through it um, and many things. He took me way, way, way back from the root of the problem or what could be a problem. And yeah, we just worked on it together. And at the end of, um, as Jesus was coming through, I asked him to take what he wanted of me. So I put a hand in my heart and felt how I desired him most, um, any, more than anything else stretch a hand out to see I don't know what I have but whatever it is I offer it to Jesus and I just call to him Yeshua Yeshua and as he passed he gave me a comfort and his joy the most impactful or beautiful what? thing that you experienced in adoration oh I have to think about this I think the most impactful or beautiful thing that I experienced well, it's always inspirational just to see everybody that's around you um, because it's just interesting to see how, how different people experience Jesus um, present there in the Blessed Sacrament. I think for, like, for me, my mo most amazing experience tonight was um, he brought back like a really kind of traumatic memory for me and um, something I hadn't thought about in a really long time. And I was really kind of confused and mad at him for like, why would you bring this back to me? This was not a pleasant time. Um, and like he just asked me to give it to him and asked me to let him fill me up and heal me and all of that. And, um, and so then we spent a while crying together and then I asked him if we could be happy now and he said yes we could. So then we started being happy. <laughs> that's just pretty much it. No, that's good. Thank you. Okay. Oh my gosh. Sister Bethany Madonna gave incredible talk beforehand uh, about God's love as a father and, and true love, what true love looks like. Actually one of the things that struck me when she was talking about the prodigal son um, and how someone that she knew um, was a typical prodigal son, lived uh, a life, very, a very lavish lifestyle and threw away um, his grandfather's inheritance. And when he came and uh, I think encountered, I think she said uh, her aunt and her aunt just like with her eyes wide open and so excited to receive him back into the family. And uh, man, just when she said that, I just envisioned my own sister um, who I miss so much. I haven't seen in, in a long time and the love that she has for me. Um, 
how powerful that is for me in my life. It was incredible to, that the Lord revealed that to me. And then going along with some of the other things that she mentioned um, was how, <laughs> how God's love is so much greater than any love that we can experience on earth. Um, and so at adoration, going into adoration with that heart and seeing Jesus there coming to us so humble in the Eucharist uh, in such simplicity, so vulnerable coming and meeting us here where we are and even more humble than where we are in, in, a, in the host, in, a, <laughs> in bread coming to us, um, inviting us to humble ourselves to him in bread. Um, just God just struck in my heart a uh, a powerful uh, connection with His humility uh, and His <laughs> longing for us to know His love for us. Uh, yeah, <laughs> of course. Adoration was like nothing I'd ever seen before, and Christ displayed in the monstrance with the light shining down on him, he came upon me. And I think everybody in the room has joy in noticing and experiencing his true love and love. So, SLS was quite the adventure. I learned so much um, that I may have not seen originally or are just now seeing. Um, I and the people that I've talking to, such as in the the guy that uh, was in the video earlier, his name is Franco, and he uh, was telling me about an internship opportunity, and I never thought to actually take an internship like that. Um, and I also attended different things, such as a, something called the Beauty Initiative Lunch, um, talking about um, bringing more beauty back into our world um, that, like, um, in both of the things that I went to, I went to a beauty initiative talk and something that was like um, beauty, culture, and evangelization. And they both talk pretty similar about beauty and about like um, bringing beauty back into our world and that um, things are a little bit not simple, but they're not profound like they used to be. Like you would look up at the Sistine Chapel um with the artwork on the ceiling and it'd be like wow that's amazing and it's not that artwork isn't good nowadays it's just that um now it's too it's too simple it's not like wow somebody else who's a human being painted that or they created that with their own like hands with their own mind with their own heart um and it's really cool to to hear those things um because those things really touched my heart and i was like wow that's amazing i never considered that or i never saw it that way or it didn't dawn on me that way um but aside from all those things, I met some crazy amazing people. Um, um, we met this guy who's uh, one of our people's roommates. Um, his name's Eddie. And he traveled all the way to SLS by himself, not knowing um, if he was going to meet anyone he knew. Um, or if he was going to meet anyone at all. Or who he would eat with, who he would hang out with. Um, he came here just like, wow, on his own. Like he flew here on his own. Um, and of course he left here on his own, um, or not here in Chicago though. And just amazing, um, how he was willing to do something like that. And then he ran into us and, um, into the, his, like in his roommates. And, um, I knew throughout the rest of the week that they were all hanging out. We, I even met someone from, um, one of my friend's small groups, um, and she traveled by herself too. Her campus didn't have any kind of, uh, Catholic student association. And she came here, um, in hopes that she would take something from here and be able to take it back to your campus and she was amazing I really loved getting to talk to her but yeah there's so many beautiful things that happened at this conference um that I wish I could tell you about but it would take me forever um but maybe I will do another video um on at least a brief like summary of like what I've learned throughout the conference um I'm really sorry if my voice sounds really groggy um I think I'm losing my voice uh, but that's okay. <laughs> but it was a good conference, um, and I probably feel look feel and look a little tired. I am tired. I feel tired, and I probably look tired. And those are true things. Um, 
it was it was really good and it's nice being back home um we're gonna get ready to start our semester tomorrow and so are some other people from the conference as well um so we're all trying to rest up before then so speaking of cool people that I ran into, I was at the C conference last year and she was an MC of it. She has her own book um, called Emotional Virtue. She's super awesome um, and she has a few words for you guys. And you're ready. Hey all you cool people at Catholic Jedi, this is Sarah Swafford and I just wanted to send you some love and encouragement to keep fighting the good fight. I know that it's kind of messy out there and relationships can be hard and I just want to encourage you to feed your faith. And if you want something to grow in your life, feed it. And if you want something to die in your life, starve it. So go out there and really feed your faith and find some amazing friends to run with you and to hold you accountable and to love on you. And know that I'm praying for you. God bless. I hope you guys enjoyed these videos um, as much as I enjoyed sharing um, a little bit of my conference with you guys. Um, yeah, stay holy, my friends, and may the force be with you. I'll see you guys later.